Hello, and welcome back to SnowRunner. It, this is episode number four, or is it five? That's one of those ones. Now, we're going to do a hauling, we're going to go do that uh, contract to open up the rock slide. But that requires getting some materials off those trailers that I recovered. And we need a crane to do that. So we're going to put a crane on the GMC. And we're going to go put the saddle on the Fleet Star. So we've got to change a few things around on the trucks. So first of all, let's take this in to the garage. That's the one I'm looking for there. I'm going to buy this. Ooh. Um, this may have been a waste. I could just take that red trailer. I'll be hauling some bricks with me, but that's fine. All I need is one spare parts and one metal beams. Well, I kind of need a truck with a crane anyway. So it wasn't a total waste. And it's morning. Just in time. We were about to go... this trailer into town to the rock slide. also need steel. That will get in town as well. Now there's going to be no more mistakes with trucks. This is the better truck. It has all-wheel drive. As soon as I get something that is even close to it, I'm going to get rid of the GMC. The only reason it's there is for a second truck. But I think I know where a second truck or another truck is that we can recover. But it requires us to find some upgrades and to at least open one more road. That is what I'm going to be working on first. So far I haven't needed the all-wheel drive. It looks like I do now. Now we've done this drive before many times, so I think I would just see you in town, back at the steel farm, back at the steel mill. A 
cargo management? Yes. Where's this rock slot? Come on, you can do it. You're still moving. It's nice having all wheel drive. Oh, there it is right there. Task completed. Sixteen hundred dollars. All right, let's go check the map, I guess, first. Yeah, let's follow this road around. Because there's an entrance to the Smithfield down there. Really curious about that tunnel. Oh, driving a straight line. Keep it on the road. Driving the potato truck and farming stuff. Tunnels are another location within the region. Every location has one or more. You may travel between locations by moving into the gateway's activation zone. Cool. Well, I don't think we're going to do that just yet. We're going to take the truck and trailer back to the garage and we'll bring the Chevy out and we're going to explore that tunnel. If I can get back on the damn road. It says we're doing fallen power lines. That's the next road to open, but I really do want to find some more upgrade parts. I also want another truck. you guys back at the garage. I lied. I'm going to pick up steel beams around the way home. And that's because the fallen power lines require steel beams. So although we may not do that in this episode, I will have them ready for when we do. Well, we took out a couple signs, but that was a very successful mission done in a fairly short amount of time. There is one more 
tower on this map, isn't there? There is indeed. Oh, and there's another road to open back there too. Why don't we go around this way? We go up past the gas station. So before we go to the other map, we'll finish unlocking this one. There's only one more left. Wow, this gets through here a lot better than the big trucks did. Well, it's a good thing I'm going by a gas station. Already down to half, half a tank lot. Oh! Well, we don't have to worry about speed limit signs anyway. hell is this? This isn't what I wanted. I want to go down there. How hard is it? Is it difficult to get down there? No, it's not. Watchtower open! Upgrade location discovered! Over there on the island? Well, we could try and get to it, I guess. Okay. Don't roll it, don't roll it. Oh no. It was not a complete loss. I just damaged the engine a bit. Alright, let's head down here and see what we can see. Chance it? Sure. Well, we got it across. Not available for current truck. Well, what is it available for? GMC engine upgrade, the Fleet Star engine upgrade. Fantastic. Great for the Fleet Star, but I'd rather have all wheel drive for the GMC. There's that truck right there that I really want to recover.
and then we'll follow the same road back to the shop and we'll get the Fleet Star up here to hope to see if we can't pull that truck out. Actually, yeah, I put steel on that truck, didn't I? That might be a pain to get up here. Uh, we'll see what the road conditions are on the way back. So far they don't look too bad. Especially since I'm going to put in an engine upgrade. Yeah, once again, I'm glad I'm going to the gas station. When you're on all-wheel drive, you really use up the fuel fast. Yeah, the Fleet Star will get through here pretty good. I'll even come through here with all the steel. Oh! What the heck did I hit? Wow, that sure got through that real quick. Alright, here we are, back at the garage. I wonder if I go in the garage with this. Do I get to keep the steel on the truck? I should. I guess there's one way to find out. Looks like I do. Maybe not. I do. Look at that. Okay. With the engine upgrade done, I'm going to call it a night here, and we're going to go get that truck. All this fleet stars making it through. I'm just wondering if I'm going to have to winch going up over all those mountains that I did with the uh, Chevy. Some of those roads were pretty off-road even though they weren't very muddy. Alright, well this is the same drive we took with the Chevy. Uh, I will skip over to the... Off-roading. Okay, so if you missed last episode... The last episode was... A couple days ago. I'm doing two episodes a week for this series now. And I'm doing a couple now for farming sim. So that's going to be Fridays through Mondays for those two for those two games.
wow, this is just powering through this. I'm probably going to have issues coming up, though. You think I should have had all-wheel drive from the beginning? I sure think so. Can't believe I missed that. Even if all loaded up with steel, I sure powered through all that. Haven't winched once. These stumps you gotta watch out for, because you won't see them and they will really do some damage. Where's this truck? Oh, there it is, there. Um, hmm. I want to touch to that big tree over there. So I have a feeling I will get this stuff trying to pull it out. Okay, looks like I can go just a bit forward. But I can't attach to that truck yet. Um, okay, I got a better plan. Gonna approach it from the front. There we go. New truck discovered. Shepherd Lake Odia. Technically, you can just recover it back, but let's keep some realism. I know it's out of fuel. I'm just hoping we don't run out of fuel by the time we get back to the gas station. Now the plan is to sell this and the GMC. Hopefully we'll buy one better truck. It's like a whole mud bowl down here. Alright, we're out cruising now. Now that we're out of all that mud. We are going to have to boogie up this hill on our own and winch it up. Where'd my winch go? Oh, you bugger. You winched to the wrong damn thing. Oh, and you're hitting a damn tree now.
Well, that was a lot of winching. Holy man. I kind of figured the hill would give us problems. And I have almost no fuel left. I hope I make it to that fuel station quickly. I have a feeling we're not going to make it. I should have put a fuel tank on the back of this. I would have made it really top heavy, but we would have had a better chance of making it. But there's the bridge, we could make it. Especially now that this is downhill. There it is. We made it. Holy cow, this is in bad shape. It needs everything. Um, it will leak fuel. The fuel tanks are in really bad shape. So we'll just tow it the way it is. Oh, I did detach my winch. Well, this was certainly a haul. I did not think it would take this long, but it makes sense. We really had to go up. We really had to go up that uh, mountain. All right, let's park this. And just like that, it's fixed. I can buy another Chevy with the money that I have, but I want to sell those two trucks. That's the one I want. The Paystar. But will these two trucks get me that far? I need six more, six grand more? Oh, here's how you sell it. Okay, sell it. Yes. And this one here. Retain it. And sell it. The International Pay Star. And there she is. Uh, can't upgrade the engine yet. Or the gearbox. Or the suspension. But I can't put all terrains on it. Okay, well, that's our new truck. Probably should have taken this into the shop and got some things fixed on it.
So I am excited. I haven't about the second series for Farming Sim. I haven't yet recorded it. And I'm excited to get that set up. Oh. Now, I want to find upgrades for that A star. The fleet star is the one we had, the A star is the new one. And we really need engine upgrades for it. Let's get. And all wheel drive if we can find one. We got two roads left to open on here. We got that far one, and we have the down power lines. Speeding through the neighborhood. Hope the cops don't catch me in a town where there's nobody there anymore. What I did to set begin setting up for farming sim is I went through my original game that I started playing for farming sim and I went through the garage and I made a list of everything that I have. I didn't realize how close I was to the slot count as on console because of the graphics and memory demand everything you have in the game requires so many slots so tractors because they're so detailed they were have a higher slot count harvester I did not have was for cotton. Travel to Smithfield Dam, sure. Ooh, pretty. Water over road, once again, pretty obvious. What the hell did I hit? The garage discovered. It was on pavement. What the hell did I hit? Doesn't matter. It's all fixed. Well, we don't have an abundance of trailers here like we do at the first garage. Watchtower open. Upgrade location discovered. Perfect. New objective discovered. New objective discovered. Dare to be adventurous. 
drive through bush. Probably should have used the road. Probably would have been easier. That probably wasn't worth it. Probably would have been so much easier going down the road. There we are, on the road. A uh, lot of unnecessary bushwalking, I guess. You can do it. Get up there. There we go. Available for current truck. New engine upgrade. Nice. This and the Chevrolet Scout. Or the Scout. That's not really helpful. What? We are going to leave this here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of SnowRunner. I can't wait to play more. And play more Farming Sim. If you liked it, please leave a like. We will see you next time. Have a great day.